Now to the story of an Aboriginal artist and elder, a man who's been described by some in the arts world as a national living treasure. He's little known to some, but larger than life to others. Lofty Barayel Nadjumarik was recently named in the Australia Day Honours list, recognising his contribution to art, Aboriginal culture and fire management in his country of Western Arnhem Land. He'll formally receive his award in a ceremony at Parliament House in Darwin later this year. If we look at him within the context of his body of work and his peers from that particular region, he's certainly one of the star artists. There's no, no doubt about that. He's a bundle of extraordinary uh, interlocking things in his personality, in his uh, depth of culture, uh, and, and, and just personal attributes that just roll together to make him an altogether unique person. Lofty Badeo Nadjimerik was born in the rugged sandstone country of Western Arnhem Land, a region he still lives in today. He's about 80 years old. The exact date and even year of his birth are uncertain. As a young man, his father taught him to paint on the walls of rock shelters. He's thought to be the last of his kind, the last surviving rock art artist. At his home, east of Jabiru, Bardell continues to paint, but has moved on to other more conventional materials, like paper. His work, though, still depicts the images of his people and country, themes he holds dear to him. These sacred places here, places themselves in this country, we must never, never damage them or interfere with them. The rainbow serpent here lives in this land. It hides itself in the water, and the centre of this place is a red apple dreaming here called Noni. But Dale has won numerous awards for his artwork, and it was an award that took visitors to his home on the outstation of Gabuwanamur last month. Minister for the Environment and Heritage, Marion Scrimjaw, nominated the Aboriginal leader for the Australia Day Honours List. Okay. An award in the Order of Australia. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's all there. It was his contribution to the art, it was his contribution to the environment, to land management, but more importantly I saw it was, was just that magnificent and, and rewarding him for the work that he's doing with not just his own immediate family in terms of the young men and, and young women, but to a lot of the youth at Gumbalanya. Bardale, or Lofty as he's also known, continues to work on the land today. His art station, about 150 kilometres northwest of Gumbalanya, is home to up to 40 people at any one time. There he continues to pass on his knowledge to future generations. For a lot of our kids in remote communities, it's important to have a cultural leader such as Lofty who's well respected. Um, and who leads by example. That, that's most important to a lot of our, our kids. Since the advent of land rights legislation, Bardale's helped to map out areas of Aboriginal cultural significance. Sacred sites that may have been lost had they not been documented. Peter Cook has helped him on that journey. Together with others over the past 30 years, they've mapped out vast areas of Western Arnhem Land. He's the last person of his generation who uh, had extensive experience walking around all over the, the West Arnhem Plateau. Uh, the rest of the people who lived on the country and who knew it intimately well, you know, right through over in extensive areas like he does, are gone. Lofty is a well-known and respected ceremonial leader. He's a great artist and uh, keeper of traditions. That's a blue tank and he was painted over that uh, snake. George Chalupka, highly respected in his own right, is a rock art specialist who's also worked extensively with Badeo. Is it Kandagic or...? No, Waller. Waller, Waller. The rock art is the longest continuing art tradition in the world. People, artists like Lofty, continue the tradition of painting on bark and on, uh, on sheets of uh, watercolour paper and their, their, their work is sought after all over the world. At the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory, an Austrian couple are told of the importance of this Western Arnhem Land artist. Bardale's work hangs in galleries around the country and is known worldwide. He has a tremendous capacity to 
capture the dynamism of particular animals or people in movement. And I think that's something that's quite characteristic of his art, uh, is this tremendous energy that it generates. You can almost see the people singing or dancing or talking to each other. They're always very lively sort of composition. This lively eight-year-old continues to paint every day and just like his father before him is passing on his traditions and culture to the next generation. Yes, I want to teach the young people. I want them to come and work here. I send that message out for people to come and work here. Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people working here together with us, learning about this country and the sacred places in it. Leave Casbin with that report. And that's all we have time for this week. Have a great weekend and see you next week.